um, Ella provides 24-7 coffee on the go. So users will be ordering through their mobile phone. Just imagine on your way to work, you don't have to queue up. Get on your phone, order your coffee, pay for it. Ella then produces it and we'll send you a notification when the coffee is ready and then when you get there, scan the QR, collect and go. So that reduces a lot of waiting time, Con coffee is consistent, it's available 24-7 and it's seamless. Robots have been around for years, right, in the factories, in automation, um, but today we're look what we're looking at is collaborative robots. They are the new generation robots that are here to assist us, working hand in hand next to humans. And what we've got here with Ella, she is consumer facing. So she's facing the consumers, providing you coffee. Where AI and robotics are going to be part of our daily lives. I think um, it, we're at the starting phase right now and um, I, I believe the, uh, the industry will start to adopt these technologies moving forward. If you look at the future, is it sustainable? Not just on the rent, on the, um, on the labour as well, and also to the provenance and the um, source of where your goods came from. Consumers are now increasingly interested in is it sustainable sources that you're buying from? Are you paying a fair price for your products? And because we have digitized the entire supply chain, we can then pre present this information to consumers in the fingertips through the mobile app. So I think that, you know, with the whole digital transformation that we're doing, it makes sense to completely, you know, sort of digi digitize our upstream procurement process and then present it to consumers. So there's transparency, provenance um, and traceability. definitely accelerated digital transformation, um, especially the food industry, right? You know, there was a lockdown, customers can come into the cafe or the restaurants. And increasingly, you see a lot of um, adoption onto the e-commerce space. So that's, to me, is, is a low-hanging fruit because you've got the platform players making it as seamless as possible for mom and pop shops to kind of sign up and then list the products online. And we see a lot of that happening. Um, so then if you can't serve it to your customers in person, let's do it online. That is, is a given. That has seen a lot of adoption in that area. But what we're solving here with Ella is the actual issue of manpower operational issues, right? That is, um, you, it require a whole lot of rethinking about your business. But then robots take over the world, right? There's no human touch anymore. There will be um, focused um, experiences, human experiences, and then these guys will be then selling the human experiences, and then you, for the efficiency side, then you, you decide, right, do you want to go with the human aspects of it, and then you, it'll be a very humanized experience, you know, you focus on building great experiences, and then you monetize from that, or you want to be efficient, and then you forget about that, and then go on with automation. So I think there will be a time when this will come together, um, maybe a period of time, you know, yeah, so that's, that's what I think, yeah.